Yo, what is going on YouTube? This is your boy Dan, aka A Job. I'll bring you guys the Pokemon Uranium Nuzlocke episode one. If you guys are hyped for this brand new Let's Play here on our channel, show your love on that like button down below and definitely make sure you guys subscribe if you are new. Now, this is the first video I'm actually filming in my new office, so I apologize if the lighting or the sound or anything is a little bit weird. I'm still tinkering with things. I've been I just moved in, so I'm still working on all the mechanics and stuff like that but should be a lot of fun and I'm excited to try Pokemon Uranium if you don't know this is a fan-made game that was just completed over 1.5 million downloads I believe and then it was shut down by Nintendo so unfortunately I cannot provide you guys with any sort of download links you're gonna have to scour the internet and try to find it yourself but be wary because you don't want any viruses so be very very careful who you get the game from if you go find it yourself because again it was taken down by Nintendo why Apparently because it's incredibly awesome. So we're gonna find out how it is here momentarily I'm so excited to start this brand new journey guys, and I'm so excited to do it with you the a drive army So let's jump into things here. We are gonna do a new game, but we're gonna click options first the Music's good tech speed fast battling scene on we're gonna do uh, shift is fat ah, We'll do set and screen size medium is good We shall save and exit and we will go to new game ladies and gentlemen do this choose your game mode So I'm gonna be nuzlocke in this game, but I'm gonna choose a regular mode and I'm gonna info Im Im Impose enforce the nuzlocke rules myself and the reason why is my good friend munching orange apparently ran into a shiny and uh, He was on the nuzlocke mode. So he wasn't able to capture it. So I'm definitely gonna do regular mode, but I'll be enforcing the Nuzlocke rules myself, which are quite simply catch the first Pokemon you encounter in every route. Uh, I won't be nicknaming, I don't think. Maybe I will. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll nickname. I don't. I don't know the Pokemon's names because a lot of them are fan made. So let's nickname. We'll nickname, even though I won't know them. Um, and if a Pokemon faints, you release it. Uh, last but not least. I guess that's really it. Those are the rules, so let's do it. Uh, obviously, we are going to activate the uh, the shiny claws as well, so if we do encounter a shiny Pokemon, we'll add it to our team, no problemo, uh, regardless of the other Nuzlocke rules. But hello, who is it? Oh, hello there. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. Ooh, this guy looks pretty rad. My name is Bambo. All right, Bambo. Uh, but if you find that hard to pronounce, you can just call me the Pokemon Professor. That sounds much easier. You're the kid who's applying for the job, right? Great. Want the lowdown on what you'll be doing? Nah, we'll figure it out, dude. I'll, I'll kind of wing it. If I get lost, I'll, I'll get lost. What is this thing? It's like a, it's like a cat owl. We humans share the world with creatures known as Pokemon. More than mere animals, Pokemon possess the astonishing powers and remarkable intelligence. People and Pokemon coexist in many ways. Some Pokemon are kept as pets. Others help us with work, and still others are used by tr battles by trainers such as yourself. So we're gonna be a trainer, obviously, but there's so much more we still don't know about these Pokemon. That's my job, I study them for a living. Specifically, I'm an expert on Pokemon elements. All right, so a little bit different here. If you guys know, most of the Pokemon games, the start or the professors have some sort of specialty. So like uh, in Kalos, uh, Sycamore was Mega Evolution, and now in Sun and Moon coming up, uh, Professor Kukui, I believe is his name, his, his uh, specialty is uh, moves. That's why the Z moves are a thing, so anyway. Every Pokemon has an elemental type, and each type has its own strengths and weaknesses, but why do they exist? Are there new types we haven't discovered yet? And uh, I'll tell you more about you on your first day of the job. Report to my lab tomorrow to get your first Pokemon if you just fill out this form here. Ooh, baby, we are getting new Pokemon. So, who am I? All right, so it looks like, uh, I don't know why there's three. So this is male, this is female, and, and maybe kind of in the middle, I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure, but I'll go, I'm a male character, so I'm gonna go with that. And you can pick whatever you want, whatever. Actually, sometimes, though, I'm gonna be honest, I like playing as the girl character sometimes, because sometimes the girl characters look way cooler. I'm just gonna be real with you guys. But I'm gonna go with A-Drive, and uh, that'll work for me. Uh, my name is A-Drive, sure. Uh, am I ready? I think I'm ready. Your journey, your story is about to unfold. The future is a blank slate. You, together with your Pokemon, are going to fill it. There will be challenges and thrills, and you're bound to make exciting discoveries. Let's go! That's like my catchphrase. Uh, so I have not seen anyone else's footage of Uranium yet. I haven't cheated, I haven't watched anyone's Let's Plays as much as I wanted to see some of the homies' Let's Plays I haven't, because I knew I wanted to play this game. So, 10 years ago, my family lived in Beale Beach City, the largest city in Tandor. So I guess we're in the Tandor region. This music is hype. Look at this guy. Their father, Kellen, was a brave and talented Poke Ranger. He's got like this weird like eyepiece going on there. Um, 
Is that mom? Lucille was a brilliant scientist and expert on nuclear energy. So dad was Pokemon Ranger. Lucille was a scientist focused on energy. They worked demanding jobs. They always found time to spend at home with young A-Drive. The Tandor region was at peace and Lucille's company was working on a form of clean energy that would change the world. Okay. The future seemed bright until dot, 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 ellipsis. What do we got here? It was an ordinary day at the nuclear power plant where Lucille worked. As part of a routine inspection, they bought, brought in a specialist to take a look at the electrical system. Team Rocket? Team uh, Uranium? Uh, Cameron, have you finished? Cameron, have you finished your diagnostics? Yes, I have. Everything seems to be working perfectly. This generator design really does its job well, Lucille. Excellent. If everyone has finished their work, we'll break for lunch. Uh, boss, you might want to take a look at this here. Uh, we got a Y and an N, so is it yes or no? Which button do I press? Like, really, that look at the screen. It's like a Y and an N. Uh, what do I press? <laughs> the temperature readings are far higher than normal. Either we need to reset the thermometer, thermometer, <laughs> or the reactor is leaking a massive amount of heat. I shouldn't be joking. This is a problem. It can't be the thermometer. I just checked that. So... Oh, snap. We're shaking. The world's shaking. Oh, my goodness. There must be a breach in the reactor! At this temperature, in just a few minutes, we'll have a total meltdown! Everyone needs to evacuate now! Oh my goodness. We need to get the heck out of here. Lucille, you have to leave now too! And Lucille's like, no! I need to save the day. She just goes to the basement, chick? What are you doing? That's my mother! Ma! Ma, what are you doing? With Cameron's help, all the scientists were able to escape unscathed, except Lucille. She was now, oh, mom, sounds like my real mom. I haven't seen her in, I'm, we're not gonna go there. The radiation leaf from the broken reactor made the surrounding area uninhabitable for many years, foiling any attempt to try and search for her. Wow, okay, so we're in this big power plant. Mom works there, something goes wrong. Mom goes to the basement, never seen again, but no one's able to go to the wreck site because it's so bad. So I have a feeling we're gonna try to find mom at some point. The loss of his wife had a profound effect on Kellen, obviously the ranger, our father. His personality changed, he became cold and dedicated to his job. In time, he got promoted to chief of the Tandor Pokemon Rangers. However, he became too busy to care for his child. Young A-Drive was sent to live with their elderly auntie in Moki Town. All right, so we're going to see auntie. 10 years passed, all right. So auntie's health waned, supporting a child was too much work for her. Unfortunately, Ernest, which is the professor, Bambo, of course, was looking for a research assistant. Two kids from Moki Town applied, A-Drive and their friend, Theo. It was common for youths of a certain age to receive a Pokemon and travel the region as a Pokemon trainer. And so A-Drive's journey began. All right. So here we are, come downstairs, you're late. Am I late? Okay, well, I guess I'm late. So let me see if I can, oh my goodness, look at this little, uh, little button screen here, I like it. All right, so let's head down. Let's head down and uh, we got grandma down here, auntie. What's up, auntie, how you doing? How do I talk to you? Hey, drive sweetie, today's your big day. I can't help but feel glum seeing my little one grown all up and leaving home. Oh, if these old bones could do more so that I could support us both. But we both know you're ready for this. You and that boy, Theo, always follow in your footsteps. That one, you've been so capable, but I wonder about him. He's old, he's younger after all. I'm sure his father Cameron wouldn't allow him to go out. Anyways, celebrate your big day. I got you a present. Ooh, is it cook? It's running shoes, it's not cookies. All right, so to run, hold Z, you can toggle auto run in the menu. Sniffle, don't mind me, sweetie. I'm an old lady who's emotional. If only your father were here, I'm sure he's proud of you too. And I'm positive you'll run into him during your adventure. Now, I shouldn't keep you any longer, so say hi to the professor man for me, will you? And if you don't mind stopping by after you get your first Pokemon, I'd love to see it. Good luck, sweetie. So grandma, or not grandma, auntie, auntie grandma over here, put in the finest of work, raising me. Shout out to all the people out there whose parents didn't do a good job and their auntie had to step in or someone else had to step in. Seriously, that's like a, oh my goodness, this town is pretty intense. Uh, looks like there's plenty, to, oh my goodness. It's dangerous to go out with, I wasn't going to, I was just exploring. Let's talk to this lady, hey. Oh my god, what is this? It's like a little mouse thing, hey. Hey, come here, mouse thing. Mouse thing, mouse, how do I talk to it? Mouse thing, mouse, mouse thing. All right, well, that was ineffective. All right, so, I don't know, there's some boulders over here. This looks, doesn't really look like a professor's office. Is there a professor around these parts? Where did that come from? Did I come from up here? What is this? Oh my goodness, I'm so excited for new Pokemon. Hey, wait up! Is it Theo? Yo, it's gotta be Theo with that red hair, bro. Where do you think you're going, huh? You trying to get to the lab before me? So you can get a better Pokemon? Well, that ain't gonna happen, cause I'm gonna get the strongest one first. Try to keep up, A-Drive. 
Yo, that's gotta be Theo, yo. Theo sounds like just a kind of a jerk in general. I'm gonna be, what is, oh my goodness, look at that thing. Oh, it's the other one. Is this the starters, bro? Are these the, oh man, I'm so excited. So excited, guys. Our question of the day is which uranium starter do you think it looks coolest, but I haven't seen him yet. So we're gonna find out. Hey, if it is an A-Drive, you're a uh, friend. Yeah, we're friends. Tommy, wasn't it? Honestly, Pops, can't, you can't even remember my name, it's Theo, Theo. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, Theo, you're just in time. Today's a very special day for both of you. It's your first day at work as a field research assistant at Bambo Pokemon Research Labs. Your job will have you traveling across Tandor, observing and capturing many different kinds of Pokemon to help with my research on Pokemon elements. I have three Pokemon here that will aid you on your journey. Before you get your starters, though, you will both take the Pokemon Trainer Aptitude Test. Oh man, a test. I don't want to take a test, Theo. I feel you, bro. I thought you were gonna give us a rare and powerful Pokemon. Now, now, don't worry, it's not the kind of test you have to study for. It's just a way to determine what kind of Pokemon trainer you will be. Different starter Pokemon are better suited for different battling styles. A starter Pokemon will be your lifelong partner, so it's important for you to work well together. Yeah, yeah, I get it, enough talking, I just want my Pokemon. Sheesh, kid, you're not very patient, are you? All right, if you wanna know more about what's going on the test, you can talk to my aide. Now, are you ready to take the aptitude test? I'm debating on whether I should like wing it. Let's just go for it. Let's just go for it. Without further ado, when you encounter a new kind of Pokemon in the wild, what is my first reaction? Oh man. All right, so I'm gonna answer these the way, oh, so I think it's pretty obvious what you would do. If you want water, you do this one. If you want fire, you do this one. If you want grass, you do this one. Um, if I were to encounter a Pokemon in the wild, what would I do? So I definitely wouldn't just throw a Pokeball at it. I would probably wait and see what it does. I would hit it with a slow attack. So I'm gonna go with wait and see what it does. Just cause, but let's see what this next question is. Which one of these TMs would you prefer to teach your Pokemon? Uh, well, I wouldn't teach a Hyper Beam and Hidden Power is really dependent on its type. So I'm gonna go with Protect. I think I'm setting myself up to rock with Grass type here, which isn't necessarily intention, but which one would win an all out Pokemon battle? Okay, so if I'm being honest here, um, Ampharos destroys Gyarados pretty much any way you slice it. Gliscor beats Ampharos pretty much any way you slice it. Can Gliscor beat Gyarados though? Um, that's kind of tough. I don't think Gliscor typically would have a chance against Gyarados. I'm gonna go with Gliscor. I might as well just stick with the green ones. I feel like I'm just gonna end up with a grass Pokemon, but that's okay. What's your motivation for being a Pokemon trainer? Exploring the region, becoming the very best, or making new friends. I'm gonna say, do I just stick with the green here? I'm just gonna stick with the green theme, because that works for me. Um, I mean, I do wanna be a Pokemon master, but to me, the, the best part of a Pokemon game is exploring a new region and, and learning the storyline and learning the new Pokemon, things like that. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna end up with the uh, grass guy, if I have to guess, just based on the colors of the questions, but we shall see here. So you guys can let me know in the comment section below here for the question of the day. What starter do you think is coolest? We'll see what, uh, so I like to play it safe, apparently patience and endurance are your biggest assets. You know the best things in life come to those who wait. For a defensive trainer like you, Orchinx is the best pick. All right, or or kinks, Orchinx, Orchix. I, I might be saying that wrong. Oh my goodness, what are the other two options? Do I get to look at them at least? Well, I got Orchinx, should I give him a nickname? Sure. Okay, so it's like a little grass, grass, uh, grass kitten thingy. I'm gonna call him, I'm gonna call him Link. We're gonna call him Link. Like Legend of Zelda Link. Uh, Cause he's like an Orch, he's like a Lynx or, I don't know. I'm tired of waiting! This guy needs to calm down, bro. I'm already annoyed of you, Theo. Got your starters already. I'm analyzing your results, Theo. He's gonna totally get the fire one. Which I think is good though, cause he definitely looks like he should have the fire one. He's got that red hair and he should totally get the fire one. You certainly know what you want out of life. You're impulsive and patient and care mostly about your own desires, but I sense something else in you. Could it be the seed of greatness? I think I'm gonna be great, but we'll see here. For a trainer of like you, oh, we got Elitox. Oh, that's an electric type? I'm so confused. It definitely looks electric type. So Elitox and, uh, and my homie, Link. I don't even know its name anymore. Uh, what's the third one? A-Drive, you have a Pokemon and now I have a Pokemon too. You know what this means, right? We have to battle, please not in the lab. All right, so we're about to throw down with Theo here for the first time and he actually looks all right in his little character sprite there. We're gonna see his first Pokemon, Elitox, which looks like it might be water and electric as I just mentioned. Uh, so we'll see here, we got Link. Let's check out our Pokemon here really quickly first. Let's see what we got, summary, let's take a look. We are grass and steel typing. 
I think I realized that. We're mild nature, which means we have plus special attack, minus defense. Uh, looks like we have pretty good uh, special defense, and we have battle armor, so we cannot be critically hit. But we're grass and steel, so that's kind of cool. Uh, so definitely similar to uh, Ferrothorn, I guess. So we're going to go for Scratch here. It's really Scratch and Growl seem to be our only attacks. We get a nice little tackle off there, and uh, it's not very effective. So that thing looks like he's pretty strong, just based on how much damage that does. Let's go for Scratch again. We're getting some good damage off on this thing. I don't believe I have any potions or anything like that, so I definitely need these uh, as much damage as I can, and uh, we're faster, which is nice too. Let's go for another tackle. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited to see what uh, Link here evolves into. Grass and Steel, that's actually like a really, really good typing when you take away um, kind of the idea that you're super weak to fire, but I think another scratch will probably knock this thing out. No, he's still alive, he's still living! Oh, and he can't crit me either, because I have battle armor, which is very nice. So we're gonna be able to beat the Elitex right off the bat here. Oh, we activate static! Wow, okay, so you have to keep that in mind that this thing does have static for the future. But we're gonna get 71, and we don't even get a level? Oh my goodness. But we get 350 bucks, and uh, how? I'm supposed to be the best trainer ever! That's impossible! Good trainers never lose! Wah! Please don't cry, Theo. This little dude's just so upset. I'll heal your Pokemon for you. And we're gonna get our team healed up, or our team, our one Pokemon healed up here. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, I want it to be an unbeatable trainer. How could I, how come I couldn't win? I really wanted to win. Between your starter and A drives, there's a type advantage. Water beats fire, fire beats grass, and grass beats water. That's the element triangle. Well, one of them. At any rate, learning to master type matchups is an important part of being a trainer. I want to do over. How come A drive gets the better starter? I'm going home. He should have totally got the fire one. I like, was going to give him the fire one, but he just, it just wasn't meant to be. I soon he'll. Uh, I expect soon he'll discover that training Pokemon isn't as easy as he imagined. All right, I'm gonna go to the entrance of Route One by the edge. Bring Theo, and I'll teach you both how to catch Pokemon. See you later, A Drive. All right, so we got our starter Pokemon Link. We are ready to rock and roll. And you've got that's the last guy. He looks so cool. He looks so cool though. The last one looks so cool. I don't know, but I'm hyped about our Orchinx, our little Link dude. I think he's gonna be clutch. I think he's gonna be a, a clutch homie. How do I even talk? I don't even know how to talk to people. I'm pressing the wrong buttons here. Hey, talk to me. Most of the Pokemon species in the Tandor region are native to this region. Mankey and Dunsparce. Oh, so you can find other Pokemon too. I was just going to route one, which I believe was over here some. Oh, I should show Grandma. Grandma. No, Aunt. Auntie. Auntie. Hey. Oh, honey, you came back. How sweet is it? It's called an Orchinx. It's so cute. Come back when you need uh, rest or when you... I, I keep pressing the wrong button, sorry. Uh, when you need to rest and when you want to humor your old aunt. All right, well, we can do that later. But let's go to route one because I want to catch Pokemon, man. I wanna, is this him? Oh, I didn't get Theo. Am I supposed to come back with Theo? Can I go get him? He should be in his house. Where's Theo's house? I don't even know where Theo's house is. Is this it? This is not, I just broke into this person's house. I'm so sorry. Please don't arrest me. I love how you can just break into people's houses. This this might be Theo. No, that's my house. Where is Theo's house? I have no idea. Is this Theo's house? No. Maybe it's in the bottom right corner. Maybe that's where Theo's house is. Theo! This has got to be Theo's house. Looks like Theo's house. Oh, his dad looks just like him! <laughs> that's so funny. What did you say to my son? He ran upstairs crying and locked the door behind him. He won't tell me what's wrong or come downstairs. I swear, if you did anything to hurt him. Oh, so that's how it is. He got the weaker starter and you beat him in a battle. That explains it, a harsh lesson, to be sure. But losing is always part of being a trainer as winning is. He had his heart set on this day being perfect, so losing right off the bat is somewhat of a shock. Still crying won't solve anything, that's something he has to learn. Theo, come downstairs right now, young man. Oh my God, redhead dad is not happy. <laughs> Theo, you can't just cry every time you lose a battle. That's part of being a trainer. But it isn't fair. Age, I've got a better starter in me, and now I'm never going to win. Then you'll have to catch other Pokemon to balance out your team's weaknesses. Besides, a well-raised Pokemon can still win, even at a disadvantage. There's no sense in giving up before you even begin. Y y yes Dad? Now, Theo, I won't always be around to pick you up when you're feeling down, so try and be strong for yourself, okay? Adrive, please be patient with my son. He looks up to you, you know. Oh, I nearly forgot, Adrive. Theo and I have something for you. Oh, the, uh, A Drive, your father Kellen sent me these and told me give them to you when you guys start your journeys. A Pokepod! What is a Pokepod? It's a high tech device that indispense it's indispensable for Pokemon trainers. Plays music. <laughs> it's indispensable! It plays music! Most importantly, it contains a phone that will allow you to stay in touch with other people. I got a red one that's cooler than yours. Do I have a green one to match my link? We'll talk about the dramatic turnaround. He always bounces back quickly. 
Don't keep the professor waiting. I'll be starting a new job soon. I'll be supervising the construction of the new power plant, Epsilon. Perhaps I'll see you there. After all, it's the last place you, Lucille was seen. Why would you bring up my, my mother who disappeared? Who is probably some sort of radioactive lady now. Hey, what are you doing down here, buddy? I wonder what kind of Pokemon lives in this pond. Probably just Magikarp. Probably, probably just Magikarp is right. That's usually what you end up with. All right, let's talk to Professor. Hey there, A-Drive. Now that you and Theo are here, it's time to begin your first lesson as a Pokemon trainer and field research aide. Now watch closely. Wild Pokemon, as you probably already know, inhabit tall grass, but that's not the only thing. You can also find them in caves and water and even in cities. Still, tall grass is gonna be your best bet for finding new Pokemon. Simply take a few steps in and... Bum, bum, bum. Oh, it's a Chian Monk. They're very common around here. It hasn't noticed me yet, so now's my chance. Go ra oh my goodness, Raptorch. This is the this is the third one. Next step is to weaken him. Raptorch, use Scratch. Uh -huh. Poor little chipmunk thing. Now that it's weekend, use my Pokeball to catch him. Your Raptorch looks sick. Let's be real here. It looks pretty sweet. And now that it's done, a Chian Monk are fairly easy, but sure, you'll encounter Pokemon that are a lot harder. For those, you might need to inflict status or special Pokeball, but I'm sure you'll get the hang of it before too long. These are for you. We got a Pokedex. All right, that Pokedex is an encyclopedia that will automatically update every time you encounter and catch a new Pokemon. Fill it out, and I want you to have these, and he's gonna give us some Pokeballs, so we can get those Pokeballs. And you gotta catch them all. If you run out, you can pick them up at Pokemart. Smoky Town doesn't have one, but there's one in Kevlar Town on the other side of Route 1. That said, your lesson's over. But you two have Pokepods, don't you? Here's my phone number. So Professor Bambo is hooking it up. And uh, if we needed, to, if we needed to call him, we'll call him. But I don't feel like I need to call him. So I think it's time for us to start our journey here. We get to catch a Pokemon, maybe a Chine Monk, maybe something else. I don't care that you got the strongest starter. I'm still gonna be the best trainer ever. I'll catch tons of Pokemon and we'll win every battle. You just wait and see. So of course he does not get an encounter in front of him. What's going on over here? Is this a forest? So this is Route 1. So this is officially Route 1. All right, let's see what we got going on in here. Route 1 action. Are you a trainer? You want to battle? Oh, you are a trainer. You're a new trainer. I just started too. All right, so I guess I'm battling this chick already. Um, last Lynette is going to set out an Oten. Oh, snap. It's that thing we saw from the uh, from the front screen, like with the professor. Right, I'm going to go for Scratch here because it seems to be the best move. He's going to go for Foresight. I'm not a ghost type Oten, so I don't know what, what you're doing. It's like an owl kitten. It's an Oten. Heck, ah, but I am steel tight. Oh my goodness, it did so much. Oh my goodness, why did you do so much to me? Stop pecking me, please. Stop, stop pecking me, please. The good news is I don't have to worry about critical hits, though. Like, please don't knock me out. I'll cry. Okay, we're good. But now I'm not even strong enough to, like, get through the grass. So at least we'll get a level, but we're going to have to go heal now because that was incredibly ridiculous. Um, in fact, if I run into a Pokemon in the grass... Oh, I don't think I have to run through the grass. All right, we need to go talk to Aunt... Aunt, uh, Aunt Lady, and she needs to heal us real quick. I'm gonna slowly walk through the grass. Okay, good. Let me go heal up, guys. Sorry that I have to do that already, but... Um, so let's talk a little bit about kind of like what the plan for this Let's Play is. So I'm currently still doing a Let's Play on this channel with my wife, the uh, the Love Lock. So this one is the, like the second concurrent Let's Play, uh, which is a little challenging. But what I'm gonna do, guys, I'm gonna be uploading this uh, basically Tuesdays and Thursdays for sure. That's gonna be my plan. And then I think if you guys, uh, I don't mean to keep saving. I think if you guys uh, hit like goals, I'll throw another episode up on Sundays, I think. That'll be kind of cool. So we'll do Tuesdays, Thursdays, and then if you guys show the love, we'll make sure I get you an episode on Sundays too. I think that's cool. So I don't know, let me know. If you guys want like super duper high frequency, you want it like every day or something, let me know and I'll see what I can do. But uh, uploading every day on a Let's Play is, is quite challenging when you already have other Let's Plays going on. So it uh, looks like I found some Moran berries down here. I'm kind of just exploring. Uh, so let's go grab these. Uh, excuse my wrong button presses. We're gonna get two Oran berries, which are good. I could actually give that to our Link here because he's actually needs to learn some new moves right now because right now the moves he's got are a little, a uh, little sketch. I actually don't want to plant the berry. That's not what I want to do. All right, where's my bag at? All right, there's the bag. Let's go to berries and we're gonna give and we're gonna give Link a berry. And now I think what everyone wants me to do and what I want to do is go catch a Pokemon. That's what I want to do. Let's catch Pokemon. So I had to come down here and see what was going on first. What's up here? A Pokeball. A potion. Ooh, I needed one of those. That's good. Ooh, this lady probably wants to battle me. Let's do it. Oh, hey, Drive. I just got a new... How did you know my name? I just got a new Pokemon. I want to see how it fares. It's probably the little chipmunk thing next to her. 
School kid Tath has a Chian Monk. Oh, look at this thing. It's just so cute. Look at him. Look at the little Chian Monk. All right. I'm one level higher, so it's faster than me, though. Go for Tackle, which did so much damage. That did so much damage. That did so much damage. Did you see that? That was a resisted hit. Link, why are you so weak? I mean, I know you have a negative defense nature, but jeez, dude. You're, like, not taking hits well, man. And we get hit twice in a row because he's faster than us. Oh, my goodness. The speed ties, dude. Well, it's a speed tie, really, but... The speed ties, though. What move do you just go for? I have no idea. Why can't I have, like, Rocky Helmet or Iron Barbs or something? I feel like this thing needs Iron Barbs, like ASAP. All right, well, we knocked out the little dude. We're not going to get it. He's got another Pokemon, a Burby. What the heck is that thing? Let me go for Scratch again. Gust. Okay, so that did, that did three. I'm going to Scratch again. He's gonna gust again. I think I have the potion. I mean, I know I can't get crit, so at least I have that going for me. Let's go for that potion. We'll just use it. I really don't want to. Like, this game has already, like, been challenging. Like, maybe my starter is really bad. I don't know. But I feel like I never have this much problems already. These are struggle strugglesome here. All right, that just knocks. We get a crit ourselves. So that should probably get us to level 7, which will give us a little bit of a breathing room here. Yeah, our defense is 11. Our special defense is really high. We learned Leech Seed. Oh, thank you so much. That's what I needed. I needed the move like that. I needed a leech seed. Okay, let's see what's over here. And here is our first encounter in round one. It is gonna be that Burby, homie. The little dude, the little Burby. Oh my goodness, we gotta catch this thing. Let's go for Scratch. Let's go for Scratch here. This is gonna be our first capture of the Nuzlocke here. Assuming I don't knock him out. I'm gonna go for a, a leech seed this time. We'll see him, get a little health back, and then I'll chuck a Pokeball at him. So he's got Gust. I actually kinda like that. That could be useful. Uh, get a little health back here. And heal us up. And now I'm going to chuck a Pokeball at this thing. Where's my Pokeballs at? There we go. Let's use it. What should I name this little Burby? Uh, it's got like kind of almost like a... I'm going to name him Cheshire, I think. It reminds me of the Cheshire Cat. Like this dude's smile. Like you see that? I don't know if, if, I'm, if you guys understand what I'm talking about. Hopefully you guys do. It looks like... It looks like he's got this big smile on his face almost. It's it's like he's got, I, I'm sure it's just his neck, but I'm gonna name him Cheshire anyway. I didn't even read his description, which I should have, but we're gonna name him Cheshire. Ch uh, Cheshire, how do you spell it? Cheshire, Cheshire, Cheshire. I think I spelled that right. If I did, wrong, I apologize. But we got an antidote, very nice, very nice. Let's check out our little birdie here. Where you at, buddy? Where's the birdie thing? Pokemon, let's check him out. Sorry guys, I'm still trying to get used to the controls, so bear with me. Uh, this one, okay. We learned Flash. Flash and Gus, he's relaxed nature, which is uh, plus speed minus defense. No, other way around, minus def plus defense, minus speed? I think so. And we got Warchanks and Burby so far, so those are the two Pokemon we're working with. And uh, I don't know, how far does it take for us to, what is this little house here? Will you heal us up if I go in here? I'm the fisherman. These ponds might have a wide variety of Pokemon. If you prove you're strong, I may give you my fishing rod, but you have to beat Maria. Oh, so we have to go back. Okay. Can I sleep? I can't sleep here. Can I go down the computer? Check Facebook? No, I can't check Facebook. I'm not really a big Facebook user myself, though. But uh, Route 1, this fisherman over here. Should I battle him? Did you know this river is populated by Fortog? They're poisonous Pokemon and carry antidotes if I were you. <gasps> Fortog. All right, well, I'm really appealed, uh, interested in this Pokeball here, which is a potion, which is nice, because I definitely need to make sure I can heal my Pokemon. Oh, there's a Bug Catcher up ahead. Oh, my goodness. There's all sorts of trainers, man. I don't feel like I'm ready for this. Oh, my goodness. Is this, like, a secret passageway? Why can't I go in here? But I can't... I have no idea. All right, here's what I'm going to do. We're going to go into our bag, and I'm going to give an Aranberry to Link, and I'm gonna give an Aranberry to, I'm actually gonna use one on Chesser. I really wanna use him, because I know we're about to face a bug catcher here. I'll use another one on Link. Okay. Uh, I don't know how Link has an item, too. That's, oh, did I just give him a berry? I might have just done that. Okay, so let's, sorry. Okay, let's do switch here, and let's get Chesser some action. I'd like to get him a battle against this little bug catcher here. You wanna battle me? Yeah, you over there, you want a battle? All right, let's do it, Bug Catcher. I'm a bug maniac myself. So, what do you got, a Q-Bug? <gasps> I'll take three of those, please. Thank you. Let's go for Gust. Oh my goodness, that is the cutest little thing. 
Oh my goodness, it's a little, it's a little bear, little bear bug thing. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I want one. Give me one of those. I'm just gonna keep gusting. I think we can beat it if I just gust. Just keep on gusting, buddy. Don't get critically hit though, please. There you go. Good job, little Cheshire. Good job. Look at you taking down the Cubug. Oh my goodness, I want one of those so bad though. Oh, we grew to level four. We learned Growl. He's gonna set on another Q-Bug. Would I like to switch? Sure. Let's go to Link. I thought I put it to set battle style. Well, maybe I didn't. Maybe I did. I don't know. I'll, I'll put it on set after this. But uh, for now, we will be not on set. I will just, uh, I'll just scratch the thing. He's only level five, so. I'll make sure it's on set. I've, I might have done it, but I had like a minor minor difficulty. I had to restart, but it's all good. I think we're good. I'll just keep scratching this thing. I just want to get out of this forest here, but I have heard one thing I did here on Twitch. A lot of you guys were messaging me on Twitch and like the comments in the chat telling me, A Drive, the amount of bug types in Uranium at the beginning are just absolutely wonderful. So I was almost thinking about doing a bug only Uranium playthrough which would've been cool, but then it kind of takes away from the Nuzlocke, and then it's not really, you know, so you guys tend to like Nuzlocke, so I figured I'd go Nuzlocke instead, and if we run into any cool bug types, I will, and I can catch them, I will definitely do so, but for now, I'm liking Cheshire, I think that'll be a fun Pokemon to use, so. That was wicked, he says. All right, well, let's, let's, um, check out our settings here. Uh, options, and let's go to set, okay, cool. And we'll keep it on set. All right, and let's see here. Are there more trainers? Up? There's so many trainers, guys, in this forest. I guess I'm battling this guy. Don't run away from me. All right, I guess I guess I'm just gonna battle him. I wasn't even ready for it. He's got a four talk. Oh, he. What is this thing? But you know what's even cooler? I love the the cry, by the way. You know what's even cooler? Poison moves can't touch me, baby, because I'm a steel type. Oh yeah, Link. You could just wall this thing all day. Go for poison sting. Oh yes, poison sting away, please. Please feel free to just poison sting as much as you would like, my friend Fortog. Unless you have like Ember, bro, I think we're okay. It looks like a, a chubby. Um, wait, what did they just go for? Okay, uh, he looks like a chubby um, Totodile, kind of mixed with like Squirtle in a way. It's actually really funny to look at. All right, we're gonna just go for Scratch here. I got the Leech Seed. He's gonna go for Pound. I was wondering what move that was. See, now Link is, is looking beautiful because he can take on these four togs no problem with that beautiful uh, that beautiful steel typing. Very nice. Steel type at the beginning of the game seems to be a pretty nice little thing to have going on here. So, Orc Chinks, my man Link is about to put in the work. Get that Leech Seed recovery, which is always keeping us healthy. I can just drop a nice little scratch here and that should get rid of the four tog. But a very cool little Pokemon there. Gotta carry antidotes, apparently. And we just took out Youngster Ricky, man. So see you later, buddy. Do I want to trade Pokepod numbers? Sure, man. I'll battle you again. Ooh, is that the exit? Is that the exit right there? Ah, it is because there's rocks blocking our way. So we may have made it actually through the forest. We are in Kevlar Town. All right, guys. Well, this is a great spot to stop our journey for now. We're going to continue the next episode in Kevlar Town, of course. So I hope you guys did enjoy this episode of Pokemon Uranium. I'm so excited for a brand new journey. Don't forget our question today. Which starter did you think was the coolest? We saw the grass one that was like, you know, our guy, obviously, Orc Kings. He got the water dude, which is like water and electric. And then there was the, the raptor fire thing, which is really cool. But we didn't have a choice to pick our starter, so a little bit different, but uh, I'm cool with it. I'm happy with my man Link. Link's looking cool. We got Cheshire. We're feeling good. I'm ready for episode two, and I hope you guys are as well. Thank you guys again for watching. My name is Dan. I'll go by Age Rob, and I'm going to catch you guys later. Peace.